powerful. However, in his dreams, he becomes a hero. From a fearless ship captain, a maverick surgeon, a daredevil pilot, to a courageous patriot. This, this is, is The Secret, Secret Life of Walter, Walter Mitty. Mitty. Adapted from the 1947 screenplay by Ken England. And based on the literary classic by none other than James Thurber. The old man will get us through! I ain't afraid of hell! Hey, hey, hey! You out drive him too fast! Too fast! We're looking for a seventh win here at 1A State. And uh, it's great to be back at Central because it's my own old stage that my kids get to walk across. And we get to, we've spent so much time in the auditorium over the years and with Ramona Hernandez-Witt and Randy Matthews. And, uh, Forty years ago, we were all doing Premier 2575 here at Central, and that was really great. So, I love forensics and I love the kids I get to, an opportunity to work with. I learned about forensics when I was still in junior high. I knew um, my coach from church and she suggested that I go out for forensics when I was a freshman and she thought that I might like it so I tried it and I fell completely in love with it. Um, from being in forensics for the past four years I've definitely became more outgoing. I find it easier to talk in front of people now than it was when I was younger. And um, I've definitely found myself. I feel more myself at forensics meets than anywhere else. So I, I definitely owe that to forensics. Well, um, my freshman year, I was in the fall play London Suite. And I fell in love with acting there. And then I found out that we had an extracurricular activity of dramatics. And I went and saw Brenda, and she gave me a piece. And I've loved it ever since. Well, it gives you great speaking skills, and if you're not, if you're socially awkward, it helps you make a lot of friends and get out of your bubble. It's a lot of fun. Um, our freshman year, we got to choose to take a speech class, and every day you'd have to go in and like say your name and like in an accent and like your favorite drink or something. And Taya here, <laughs> you had to get really out of your comfort zone and that was really hard for me to do. I was actually gonna drop that semester, but then Kara, I made her stay. <laughs> she told me to stay just for the rest of the year, just to try it out and see how the rest of the year goes. Well, we ended up falling in love with it. We've been duet partners ever since freshman year. Yeah, <laughs> we tried humorous at the very beginning of freshman year and it didn't go so good. And then we really got like connected with forensics when we tried to do a serious duet and Ever since then, we've been doing it, and now we're at state, so it's kind of <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah. Have you guys really been cool. to state before? No. I was here last year in my poetry, but I mean, I wasn't as nervous because I was like, whatever, you know, I'm not too excited. But like this year, it's like, I mean, it's, this has been our dream since freshman yeah. year to like get here, and we're like finally here, and we're like, oh my gosh. Tell like, me about forensics at Quinter High School. It's really big, <laughs> like. It's more popular than football, volleyball, all of our sports. Like, everybody wants to be in forensics now. I mean, yeah, over half our school is in forensics. And the rivalry with Jet Morgan. <laughs> the rivalry is pretty big. It's, I mean, it's tough, but it always I mean, goes back and forth. Mm -hmm. They have a really good forensic squad, and so yeah. Yeah. It's, competing yeah. against them is really intense. I, I mean, mean, it's kind of like, you know, like when you're in a sport and you have a, the next best team it's like you're trying you're fighting like but you know sometimes mm -hmm. they come out on top sometimes we come out on top but they do have a really good forensic squad and power to them because they can just keep yeah. doing what they're doing they're obviously they're doing something right <laughs> so I'd say probably the main thing that I get out of forensics is really socializing and meeting people but meeting people that enjoy doing what you do because doing forensics and acting and being involved in performing it really is a unique thing and it's something that you can't just jump into not prepare give it your all and expect to do well it's the fact that when you prepare when you put everything you have into it have a great coach like we have from Quinn or Miss Tebow and it all pays off when you go to the meet and you end up placing good or placing and qualifying you end up here where we're at at State Forensics so I think that's probably the main thing.
Tell me about your, your first impression when you first saw the first you were saying it Honestly, I told myself I would see them staring at walls, kind of talking to themselves, uh, reading from books, and no one was around, reading out loud, and I was kind of honestly saying, eh, those guys are really weird. I mean, what are they doing? It's kind of creepy. And the funny thing is, is now I'm fully, fully just consumed by it. I'm really consumed by it. I take this piece, I take my piece, and I perform it for little kids, and I do all kinds of stuff with it. So, <laughs> it really did flip on me really fast. So. Well, in Quinter, it's not really a nerd sport because, like, half the school is out for forensics. There's, like, I, there's, like, 45 kids or so from Quinter out for forensics, and we have, like, 80 students in the high school. So it's, it's just, it's a big part of the school. All right, going into finals. Cole's drawing, right? In oration, Caitlin. Yeah. In duet, Carmen Kinda. Yeah. Hey and Kara, you missed by one quality point. Oh, yeah. It was a tie. Oh, you lost her one tiebreaker. One quality point. Really. Congratulations, girl. Oh, wow.